today's video, we are diving into a pivotal moment for South African politics as the Economic Freedom Fighters, or EFF, reconsider their approach to coalition partnerships. This decision comes after the party was notably left out of a new government of national unity, a coalition formed by several opposition parties aiming to create a more unified front against the ruling African National Congress, or ANC. For a party with as much influence and support as the EFF, the exclusion from this alliance has led to frustrations and raised questions about coalition dynamics, the balancing of priorities, and what it might mean for the future of the EFF and South African politics as a whole. The EFF was founded in 2013 by Julius Malima and others, and it has since become a powerful voice, particularly among those who feel marginalized by South Africa's economic system. The EFF focuses on policies that directly address economic inequality, like land redistribution, nationalization of critical industries, and wealth redistribution. For the EFF, these policies aren't just ideas, they core values and promises to their supporters. This bold approach has helped the EFF stand out in South Africa's political landscape, but it's also made the party polarizing. While many find their approach inspiring and a long overdue response to economic injustice, others see it as extreme, especially within the more moderate circles of coalition politics. As the ANC has gradually lost its once dominant majority in several areas, coalitions have become critical for governance, especially at the municipal level. No single party holds enough power to govern alone in many regions, which has made partnerships essential for opposition groups hoping to counterbalance the ANC. The EFF's role in these coalitions has often been significant, giving them influence over key decisions in municipalities and councils across the country. Their support can make or break coalitions, effectively giving them a keymaker status. Through these partnerships, the EFF has managed to push portions of its policy agenda, and even though compromises are necessary, the party has still been able to influence policies in line with its economic transformation goals. However, in this latest coalition formation leading to the government of national unity, the EFF found itself left out of the conversation. Party spokespersons and leaders have voiced frustration over the exclusion, with some indicating it might have been a strategic move by other opposition parties to keep the EFF's influence in check. From the EFF's perspective, it's possible that their uncompromising stance on economic policies made them less attractive to potential partners who worry about alienating their own, more moderate voter bases. The exclusion has thus raised questions about whether other opposition groups are deliberately sidelining the EFF to restrict its ability to drive its agenda forward. Now, with the EFF reconsidering its coalition strategy, we could be on the brink of a shift in South Africa's political landscape. One possibility is that the EFF will decide to pursue a more independent approach, distancing itself from coalition politics and focusing on building its platform as a distinct voice for change. By stepping away from coalitions, the EFF could appeal even more to voters who feel disillusioned with the compromises inherent in coalition governance and who want a party willing to stand firm on its principles. This path could allow the EFF to attract a new wave of supporters who appreciate its uncompromising dedication to economic transformation. Alternatively, the EFF might continue to engage in coalition politics but with a different approach, possibly establishing a set of non-negotiable demands for any future partnerships. By doing so, the EFF could retain its influence while making it clear to potential coalition partners that they won't waver on core issues. This could empower the EFF to negotiate from a stronger position in future coalition talks, potentially allowing them to push more of their agenda without needing to make as many concessions. The decision to reassess coalition involvement will undoubtedly have ripple effects, especially at the local and regional levels. Many municipalities currently rely on the EFF's participation in coalitions to maintain stable governance. If the EFF decides to pull back, these municipalities could face new challenges, including potential instability and leadership reshuffles. 
This would likely force other opposition parties to rethink their alliances, possibly looking for new ways to collaborate or compromising further to maintain control in these areas. Some analysts predict that this could lead to less stable governance in certain regions, where shifting alliances and lack of majority support might create political gridlock. Another important factor to consider is how the EFF's decision could shape opposition politics as a whole in South Africa. As the ANC's dominance has waned, there's a unique opportunity for opposition groups to build a strong alternative that can challenge the ANC on a national scale. But to do that, they need to show unity and a cohesive strategy. The EFF's absence could reveal underlying tensions among opposition parties and highlight the difficulties of balancing different policy priorities. It might prompt these groups to reevaluate their own strategies, potentially leading to new alliances or even a push for a broader opposition front capable of taking on the ANC. Alternatively, the EFF's decision might inspire other parties to carve out more independent paths, ultimately reshaping the dynamics of opposition politics. Beyond coalition strategy, the EFF's potential shift away from alliances could clarify its identity and attract supporters who prioritize principle over compromise. By positioning themselves as a party that's willing to go it alone to push for real change, the EFF could strengthen its appeal among those frustrated with the perceived inefficacy of coalition politics. Some political analysts believe that such an independent stance could enhance the EFF's image as a party of conviction, distinct from other opposition groups that might be more willing to make concessions. Looking ahead, the EFF hasn't set a timeline for this reassessment, so we don't know yet how soon we might see the effects of this decision. However, the announcement signals just how strategically important coalition politics have become, and it shows that the EFF is willing to adapt and make difficult decisions about its future. With a strong support base and a clear policy agenda, the EFF remains a major player that other parties cannot ignore. The next steps the EFF takes, whether moving toward independence or renegotiating coalition terms, will undoubtedly influence the balance of power within South African politics, particularly among the opposition. Thank you for watching. If you found this analysis insightful, please hit the like button and subscribe for more content on South African politics and beyond. We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think the EFF should stick with coalition politics and push for gradual change, or would they be more effective as an independent opposition force? Let us know, and don't forget to turn on notifications so you're the first to know when we upload. See you next time.